This is Andrew Moore Crispin with your Butterscotch.com tutorial on using the Amazon Kindle second generation. We're going to pick up where we left off with our hardware tour by taking a tour of the software that runs the Kindle. Now we're going to turn on the power switch, which we showed you in the previous episode. Now you'll see the screen will flash black. And now we're presented with a new screen. Now this is the default screen for your Kindle. Uh, if you'd been reading a book, it would pick you up where you left off on that book. Um, but by default, it will take you to this home screen. Now we can go to the top of the page. As you can see here, we're looking at a listing of all the books that Sean has on his Kindle. We're looking at page one of two. And we can also see up here showing all 14 items that we have on the Kindle. So we can use the joystick to navigate up and down and select what we want to read by pressing the button in. However, what we can also do is if we had uh, many books in, the, in our Kindle, we can actually choose how we're going to sort them. So we go to the very top here. And we can see showing all 14 items. We can navigate to the right by pressing the joypad to the right. And we can see here we can choose to organize by most recent first, organize by title, or organize by author. Now, if we click on the joypad with the appropriate selection highlighted, it will reorder the list and organize it the way we just chose. Now, we can also choose. We'll put it back to most recent first. We can also choose by going over to the left how we want to uh, view the list further. So we can choose to view all my items, only books, only subscriptions, that's things like magazines and blogs and newspapers, or only personal documents. We're going to leave it the way it is for now. Now let's open up a book. So we'll read uh, Bicycle Diaries, which is something that Sean has apparently been reading. We can click on the joypad to select. Now you see here it takes us to the most recent page that we read. If we press on the menu button, we can choose to go to the beginning, uh, some of these more advanced menu functions we'll get into in a later episode of this series. So go to the beginning of the book. And we can see here, if there was a cover page, we'd be viewing the cover page. In this case, we're viewing the introduction. Now, as we're going through the book, we can just hold the Kindle like this and press the next page button as we're finished reading a page. You see, it takes uh, less than a second to change a page, but there's a little bit of a delay there. So as we, as we continue reading, we just continue clicking next page. We can also go previous page by pressing this button here. Now, if we wanted to search this document for a given term, we could start typing that term in here. Let's say we want to search for gears. We just use the QWERTY keyboard. And then as soon as we start typing, the search box actually comes up. We can hit Enter, or we can highlight the Find icon here and press with the joypad and press the joypad in to select. Now it'll give us every instance of the word gears or gear in this book that we're reading. And any time we can select the location that we want to read, or we can just hit back to go back to the page we were reading. Now, in the menu item here, you can see we can shop in the Kindle store, which we'll get to in a moment. We currently have the wireless on. We could also choose to turn that off. We can go to the cover page, which will be the, uh, the cover of the actual book. We can view a table of contents and navigate that way. So that's an overview of the software on the Amazon Kindle second generation. Remember, this is a multiple part series, and be sure to watch all the parts.